Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 37 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. This thing that I set up last episode is cruising along just fine. It's actually going really well. I'm very pleased with it. There's one little thing we have to fix, though. Well, mm, fix is maybe a strong word. Change? Tweak? Make better? Improve? I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Um, the Blood Orb. Dun, 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 dun. The Master Blood Orb, to be exact. Um, I would like make sure that when we're not crafting uh, these slates that we put the blood orb back into the blood altar so that we continue to build up our internal reservoir or our soul network of LP right so 67 672,000 currently so we're doing pretty good on LP it doesn't use a lot to get this system up and running um but what it does do uh if we start adding things to this right like if we start expanding and doing more with it we're definitely going to want to have more going on in terms of lp income so we want to make sure that whenever we're not crafting uh that we have a blood orb in there but when we are crafting we want to make sure that we don't have a blood orb in there so that we can get the stone in right so we're probably going to wind up moving this receiver back a block um it's going to be straightforward actually not too complex of a change to make here uh so what i'm going to do is move this guy back a block right and then we're going to have some of this stuff uh insulated redstone cable and we're going to extend that to there so that you are ready to go right now this phantom face is hooked up to the blood altar itself so we can pipe in and out of the phantom face using item conduits into some kind of storage inventory like this little tiny chest cool and what i'm going to do is filter it so we're going to say the phantom face here we're going to filter master blood orb and we're going to do extract insert okay we're going to let's say extract on brown always active and we're only going to extract the master blood orb um now i have to remember or i have to figure out which direction I want this to go, um, but it's going to be redstone aligned. So one's going to be on redstone on, and the other is going to be insert on brown, extract on green, active without signal. Cool. Um, and you're going to be filtered on this dude as well. So cool. He didn't actually do anything. That's good. Everybody's happy down here? Nice. Cool. So to refresh, um, we're doing brown in this direction, green in this direction. Green will be when we don't have a redstone signal, and brown will be when we do have a redstone signal. So this guy's emitting a redstone signal when we're done crafting, right? And that's going to stop putting stuff into stone into the altar, right? So when this guy emits a redstone signal, we want to put the orb in. So green, we want to be redstone active. And that means brown, we're going to want to be active without signal, right? So when the signal's on, meaning we have enough stuff, right, we're going to want to pull the orb out of the chest. And then when the signal goes off, meaning we need to craft more, then we want to pull the orb out of here. Cool. And we're going to hook this guy up so that you're ready to go. And we can test this now. You ready? So what I'm going to do is have above this thing. Let's see. Let's put it in the corner here. I'm going to have, so right above the Rune of Sacrifice there, up is going to be an in-out signal. So that we can read the signal from up there. And we're going to move this lever here. And what this should do is when that thing's done crafting with the lever on, in theory, should be putting the orb into the thing. Uh, now the reason it's not is because there's not an orb in the chest yet which we're going to remedy that situation right now, right? So we put the orb in there, and boom. Cool. And now it's absorbing the LP. Now we turn the lever off, the orb comes out, the stone goes in. Neat. 
um, we turn the lever on, it's going to craft whatever it's crafting at the moment. It's going to finish its current crafting operation. And then it's going to put the orb back in. Isn't that cool? Lever off, right? And that's just that lever represents what we've got going on. Oh boy. Um, with this redstone signal, right? So it's the same thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, one other thing I might want to do. Let's sneak back here. What's my potentiometer set to? Is it 14? Let's make it 13. I want to make sure that we have like... I'm going to make it so that it doesn't hold that much of the tier 3 slates. It's going to do a full stack of the tier 1 and 2. But the tier 3, let's like... Let's make it like 10, right? So it really doesn't hold that much of tier 3. That does two things for us. One, it doesn't take a long time to craft four full stacks of imbued slates. And two... Uh, it makes sure that there's always room for like an extra slate because what's going to happen is when that thing fills up it will probably have made one more item in crafting over here and with that guys I think we're like totally perfectly awesomely set with this setup and I'm very pleased with it so we've got LP coming in here um, remember we're low right now because I had the orb in there but that's cool nice I think we're having a net gain on it too which is good once we start crafting the tier threes we probably won't have a net gain but like i said uh we'll probably want to swap out some of these runes of sacrifice with runes of self-sacrifice might even go do that soon but i kind of want to let the the crafting operations finish and then we'll see i'm going to use some of the orb some of the slates there to craft and then we'll go from there sound like a plan um so what i wouldn't mind doing making another master blood orb so we just need a weak blood shard good good uh now is there a crafting recipe for these or it's only from killing mobs it's only from killing mobs that's right we're good pop back to the blood magic area so what i can do is flip this lever got self-sacrifice ready so this will finish its crafting operation and put my orb back in there right Ta-da! Um, and I can put the weak blood shard in. Nice. And then we'll put this one back in. And this one's not bound to me yet, but it is now. So now I've got one to craft with. Cool, right? And I can turn this off. And so what happened is because the um, altar is empty, it's not crafting right now, which is cool. And then once we get a certain amount of LP stored in there, um, it'll be able to craft again. Nice. Dude, this thing is fully, fully, like almost perfectly automated. And I'm really excited about that. I think that's so cool. Like, look at that. It didn't put the stone in until we were about 7,000 LP. Might want to bump that up a little bit. The baiting of 7,000 is enough. I think I might bump it up to a little bit higher of an amount. I could either put some more rune of capacity in there, but I think what I'm going to have to do is bump this up. Let's make it like 40%. Cool. Nice. Okay, we're good. All right, back in a minute. All right, guys, we've been having fun with this really cool living armor, and I'd like to do more with it. Um... So let's see if we can upgrade it. One of the things we're going to want to get is an alchemy table. That's going to help us to upgrade our armor and make it have more upgrade points, which will allow it to have more boosts, which would be really cool. Um, the other thing I'd like to do is make a ritual. The ritual is called Sound of the Cleansing Soul, and uh, it requires, as we can see, 48 runes. So I just real quick uh, taught this thing how to make a master ritual stone start boom and we'll get 48 ritual stones cool check nice uh and it's probably using a bunch of the uh stuff that we stored down here check it out i use some of the reinforced slates see we were crafting imbued slates because we just used almost a stack's worth of reinforced slates it's gonna start crafting them again awesome uh so i'm excited about that that's working actually really well. Uh, let's set up the ritual down here. Now, I don't know what the ritual's going to look like until we build it. So let's, the way I like to do this is just place the ritual thing on here and then mouse over with this guy. And we can see 
uh, how much space we need. So if we wanted this to be flat with the floor, it only goes, it's the same level as the Master Ritual Stone, um, and then it goes up pretty high. So that's good to know. Um, so let's clear out the floor maybe. Uh, and let's see, this guy, he went out about, is this actually like really well positioned by mistake? Completely by mistake? I think the answer is yes. I think it's actually in the perfect spot. Did not intend to do that, but I'll take it. Oh look, there's some, there's a nice little cave system down here. Maybe that's where I've been hearing mobs wandering up from. Remember we hear mobs down here every now and then? Cool. Um, I don't think I have my drill handle handily accessible. The drill upgrade that does 3x3 three three mining, that would have probably been nice right now, but eh, we'll be fine. So let's see, that's probably good enough for now. Uh, we'll probably wanna clean this up a little bit in a minute, but this'll work. Uh, let's get this thing built. So as long as you use all 48, we'll know that we've done a good job. Dun, 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 dun. Lots of ritual stones, lots of ritual stones. 48's actually a pretty large sized ritual. Oh yeah, that looks cool, doesn't it? Actually looks really cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind, I think I can pop home and get some bricks real quick. It's dark over there, so I don't want it to be. All right, we don't have a lot of bricks. Let's craft some stone. Get to work. Any mob spawn while I was over there? Nope, that's not bad. Oh, an Enderman keeps sneaking in here. Where, where are these guys coming from? All right, for reals, how come every time I look around, there's like this this one little area where light's bleeding in? That is crazy. Enderman, please, get out of here. What is going on? Uh, for now, let's light up the area. Like, I think if I did these corners, I should be all right. Enderman, please. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll definitely be good. What are you even doing? All right, so that's cool enough for me, for now. So this will, um, is it dark up here? It is. That'll look nice. So this ritual is pretty nice. Um, once I've got some stuff on here, I'm gonna need my weak activation crystal, so let's pop back home. What I should do is set it up so I can remotely access my uh, storage network from there. Can I make some bricks for the time being? Nice. Go, crafter, go. So my plan was to have something like this, right? I will probably make this like a really darkish area. Like I wanna decorate it a little bit and make it look cool. I'm just, haven't gotten there yet. You guys know how it is. We'll make it look nice later. The eternal dire promise. That'll do, good enough for now. Cool, so this should, uh, if I'm correct, do the following nifty little trick. I need to make sure I have enough inventory space. That's step one. Definitely make sure you have enough inventory space. Uh, let's also place down this alchemy table. We're gonna be playing with this thing in a little bit. It does some cool stuff. Uh, activate the ritual, nice. So see all these upgrades? Goodbye upgrades. Nice. Uh, so what that did is it removed all the upgrades that I had on my armor and gave it to me in the form of these little pieces of paper. Um, so all kinds of cool stuff, right? So if I wanted my healthy upgrade back, right? So right now, um, if I if I lost my, my health, boom, um, and then made sure to eat, which would be 
nice thing to do. Come on, regeneration, let's go. I, uh, ooh. Bodybuilder, nice. That's cool. That's a new one, actually. So now I don't have that upgrade. That gives me so much more health, right? Uh, I did lose, or, or I, I'm no longer using all my upgrade points, which is cool. If I want that, let's see, healthy upgrade back, I just right-click it. Ta-da! And I've got healthy level four back. That's cool. Um, so using this ritual, we can customize which upgrades we get uh, and which ones we don't get. So let's pop home and get a decent sized chest. The other thing we can do, which is cool, is we can combine two upgrades in an anvil together. And if they're the exact same level, they will give you the next tier up. So for example, if we combine two experienced level ones, we'll get experienced level two. If we combine two solar powered level twos, we'll get a solar powered level three. So we can super duper customize uh, which upgrades we have, which is pretty cool. Let's pop this dude right here, and this will be my chest of upgrades. So it's not a bad thing. It works out really well. I don't know how much LP it uses. Let's see, 63552. We just activate it, and then we get our stuff, right? Um, and we'll just pop all these in here. 61. So it uses like 20,000-ish LP, so it's not bad. Don't forget this thing's running, obviously. But yeah, that's not bad at all. So we can use that to get all kinds of cool upgrades. The other thing we can do is increase the amount of upgrade points that we've got. Um, so let's first get some more bricks because I definitely want to have a couple stacks of you handy just so we can at least make that look halfway decent over there. Um, it's in Blood Magic. I forget the exact name of the item. Antiseptics and neurotoxins. I remember those being part of the recipe. Uh, draft of Angelus. This, this is it. So I need a weak blood shard. I need a gas tear. I need a fermented spider eye. Um, no mushrooms at all. You really need the brown mushroom for that? I didn't even know that. Okay, cool. Um, so draft of Angelus. Gold dust. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, gold. I could probably send my. Uh, Oh good, I was smelting more of this stuff. Could probably uh, run my quarry again at some point soon. Not that we're like hurting for resources, but we're we're not overflowing either. We only have 18 diamonds, that's it. Definitely gonna have to look at doing more, more quarrying. Um, cool, so back to draft of Angelus. Uh, we're gonna need antiseptics, Ooh, which is a whole bunch of things, mushrooms and wheat and sugar and plant oil. So all this comes out of the alchemy table. So you know what I might do? Oh, that's cool, that's easy. Just a puffer fish? Oh, I have to go fishing? You're gonna make me fish way of time? Dude, come on. Killing me here. All right, let's do this. Let's do a couple things. Let's get, we definitely have to get mushrooms and we have to get started on this. What I'd like to do is go ahead and install my wireless transmitter. Advanced processor. Machine casing. That's easy. Advanced is coming along. This way I have access to my network over here. And we'll pop this guy down. I think I need another cable, believe it or not. Could probably charge this. I need a lot of things to make my life easier. There's so much stuff I want. I want like a wireless recharger. I want many a thing. There we go. Now I should be able to access my wireless grid from here. So that's cool at least. It's not a huge range. I think, what is it, 16 by, by default? So it'll pretty much work from like right around here-ish. I could throw range upgrades in there if it was a problem. And I may if I start running into issues with it. But for now at least that's good. Let's also find mushrooms. I think the best place typically to find mushrooms would be the nether. If I could find a few mushrooms in there that would be cool. And then we'll go fishing, get ourselves a puffer fish, and we'll kind of go from there.
So, hey, I got an upgrade. Quick feet. Nice. That's cool. Let's fly around and find some brown mushrooms. I see two. Wow, I got a lot of upgrades. Dwarven might. Wow. I don't know how I got four of them, but that's cool. I don't even know what half these upgrades do, to be fair. Um, I have to ask Way of Time to create a list or something somewhere. All right, let me fly around the nether for a few minutes, get some mushrooms, and we'll be right back. Ooh, I found a slime island down here. That's kind of exciting. Hello, more upgrades. Flight definitely makes this a little bit less dangerous, doesn't it? What's my Tardic gem situation? It's pretty full. I don't need to kill them with the Tardic sword. Have I found one of these during this let's play yet? I don't know if I even have, to be honest. Goodness, there's slime everywhere. Let's eat a little bit. But I'd really like to get my hands on some of this stuff. Nice. That's cool. Very nice. You can do neat things with this stuff with tinkers, by the way. This is a tinker spawn. Okay, um... I think I've got enough mushrooms for now, and a bunch of other junk. Let's teleport home. I love being able to teleport home. You guys don't have any idea how great it is to be able to say, I'm done getting what I need to get, click a button, and I'm back at my base. That is super clutch. Alright, so, putting away junk that we don't need at the moment. Let's get this uh, ritual stuff going. So, we want... That spirit, what was it called? Blood magic. Draft evangelist, that's it. The other thing I'm going to have to get for this, but let's get the basics down. So I need to go fishing. Let me go do that real quick. Um, I'll probably fish off camera, because you guys don't want to watch me fish, do you? I'm assuming no. It's, it's, it's daytime. Or it needs to be daytime, so that creepers don't sneak up on me. Yeah, we'll be back in a minute. So guys, good news, I got a raw fish. And I think, yes, puffer fish, nice. All right, so let's go try to get this out because I've actually never used this alchemy table. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Um, so let's see, blood magic, plant oil, no, that's not the one I want. Antiseptic, neurotoxin. All right, so I just need an orb in there and that's it. Seems easy. A little too easy. Do the master one, because that's the top tier. I don't know what this slot's for. But hey, it worked. All right, got a few more items going on here. Let's see. So this should be plant oil, right? Cool. And then we need a gold nugget, wheat and sugar. Gold nugget. Wheat. Sugar. And each type of mushroom. With the plant oil. Nice. Cool. I wonder if that's using LP or not. Doesn't seem to be, really. I mean, we're using a little bit, but we're killing mobs down there, so. Oh, nice. Two antiseptic for that. Uh, and that's everything? Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. Crafting takes a second, but that's okay. It's not bad at all. I don't know what that slot in the top right is for. No idea. Couldn't tell you. Sorry. Um, but this should get me the Draft of Angelus, which is cool stuff. So what do I do? Right-click it? 
Oh, hello. That hurt. Hey, cool. Now I have 200 upgrade points. So that's, uh, that's a thing. It hurt a little bit, though, didn't it? Sweet. That brings me up to 200. So currently I've got a bunch of cool stuff on there. What I think I'll probably do is... Man, I've got some good upgrades. Nice. So one more thing I want to try doing. Uh, we're going to need 48 more Ritual Stones. Shouldn't be a problem. Because I fully automated all the things. Which I'm super proud of, by the way. This is a temporary ritual that's going here, so it doesn't need to be in any way in a, in a good place. 16, huh? What, what's in my way? Something's in my way. I'm not sure what would be in my way. Might be... You don't actually need something under you, do you? Oh, you know what? It was that torch. I bet it was the torch. Yup. Totally the torch. I just happen to have torches in every spot. That's awesome. Sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, we activation crystal this dude. Which... Nice! Brings me up to 300 upgrades. That is cool. So now we've got 300 upgrade points. And that's a one-time thing. So it used a decent amount of LP to do that, but I feel like it was totally worth it. That is cool. So now we have a lot of upgrade points for this armor, which I'm liking the idea of. Um, what I want to do is basically keep the armor flowing like keep getting upgrades on it and then we'll just remove the upgrades and then at some point we'll just pick and choose which upgrades we want to have is this well lit enough yeah it is cool um and then i can just put my master i just borrowed this master ritual stone for the time being nice right so uh i can keep getting upgrades or i can remove the ones i got like it really doesn't matter um what i'm gonna do i think what i'd like to do though Man, I wish I could catalog these or something. But I want to have the um, healthy. I want to definitely stick with that one. That's a nice upgrade to have because that gives you that much more strength or that much more health thing. Um, solar powered. That's kind of a nice one to have too because that lets you regen while in sunlight, I believe. Step assist I don't need. Quick feet is all right. Tough skin. Dwarven might. Experienced. Fierce strike. Definitely need a list. I'm going to ask way of time to hook me up. Maybe next episode we can uh, talk about what some of these actually do. Some of them are obvious. Some of them not so much. Right? Um, so that's cool. All right. Let's come back in a minute. All right, guys. I definitely think we've progressed pretty far in blood magic. Uh, at this point, we have the basis for pretty much anything we would want to do in there. Uh, we've got a really nice set of armor, which I'm excited about. I'd like to do more automation. I'd like to do more base work. So probably in the next couple episodes, we're going to upgrade some other things around our base. Maybe get into a new form of power gen, though. To be fair, our existing power gen options are working pretty well for us. Um, maybe want to have a few other things going on around the base. And there's definitely some mods we haven't even looked at yet. So for now, I'm going to wrap up the episode and we'll come back next time for some more cool stuff. All right, guys, Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.